Ian has 849 stamps. He uses 475 stamps. How many stamps does Ian have left? Ian used a whole lot of stamps, but I bet he still has plenty. Find 849 minus 475 by using the frame to help you subtract. First, subtract the ones. When you subtract the ones, do you need to regroup? Explain. No, you don't need to regroup because there are enough ones to subtract. When you subtract the ones, you get four. Then subtract the tens. When you subtract the tens, do you need to regroup? Yes, you need to regroup 100 for 10 tens. How did you record regrouping 100 for 10 tens in 849? You crossed out 8 and recorded 7 in the box in the hundreds column. Then you crossed out 4 and wrote 14 in the box in the tens column. Then subtract the hundreds. What is the difference of 849 minus 475? The difference is 374. So 849 minus 475 equals 374. Did you regroup to find the difference of 849 minus 475? Yes, you did regroup to find the difference. Did you regroup 110 as 10 ones or 100 as 10 tens? You regrouped 100 as 10 tens. Sometimes you need to regroup tens or hundreds. Sometimes you don't need to regroup at all. You can see that when subtracting three digit numbers, you may or may not need to regroup. Now you know how to regroup to subtract three digit numbers.